Welcome back to Gear in a Beer, where I talk about homebrew gear while drinking a homebrewed beer. Today, I'm drinking my Philly Sour Gingerbread Goza, and we're looking at the Anvil Bench Capper. These days, I prefer kegging over bottling because it's faster, more convenient, and over time, more affordable. But occasionally, I bottle from a keg to either make some room in the kegerator or to preserve a beer for the long haul. And to cap those bottles, I use the Anvil Bench Capper. This thing is a huge upgrade from a standard hand capper. Check this out. After adjusting the height to fit your bottle, just toss a sanitized cap into the magnetic bell, place the bottle underneath, and give that lever hell. Then, just dunk the bottle in some star sand and you're on to the next one. Honestly, that's the way most bench cappers work. But where this one differs is in its ability to fold in half and hang on my brewery wall. It works great when I need it and it's out of the way when I don't. Check out my cider video to see it in action. Okay, with that out of the way, let's check out this gingerbread goza. This thing is a medium brown with a slight red tint and it has a tan, foamy head. I just released the carbonating pressure from the keg so it's a little excited right now, but that'll calm down over time. And man, the aroma on this thing is like Christmas in a glass. There's a malty sweetness, a hint of tart fruit, and a whole lot of spice. Cinnamon, clove, and nutmeg. It's definitely not subtle, and the taste follows suit. It's nice and tart, just like I wanted, with initial flavors of honey and malt, followed by holiday spice and a fruitiness that I can't quite put my finger on. Peach is probably the best I can come up with, but I also get a little cranberry and plum. The Philly Sour Yeast just has a unique fruit flavor to it, which I didn't fully account for. You could almost say it tastes more like a holiday pie than a gingerbread cookie. I'm a huge fan of this beer, and now that I've used this yeast once, I can't wait to keep experimenting. I definitely want to try to make a sour IPA and a fruited sour with this stuff, but let me know in the comments what you think I should try. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss the next one. Thanks for hanging out with me today. I'll see you again soon.